Hey guys, it's Cauliflower. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see from the title, it is time for the monthly subscription box showdown, or however I do it every month. So today I do have both Ipsy and BoxyCharm, which I will be showing you the contents of each box, and then we're going to try some of the products. Hopefully there are enough products to do a full face. If not, we will just deal with it. But today we are going to start with the boxy char. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying Anyway, here it is. It is the boxy charm in front of me. All right. So as usual, there is no card. I don't know why BoxyCharm doesn't like me anymore and they don't want to give me a card to let me know what any of this stuff is. So we're just going to go a little bit by a little bit and then uh, I guess I will put it down below what the prices are or put it across the screen if I find them, okay? So first thing I see here is from a company called I Am Beauty Care. Oh, that's clever. I Am Beauty Care. I get it. These are Dead Sea Minerals Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes. Oh boy. Okay, so here's two things wrong with this. <laughs> First of all, it's a makeup remover wipe. Not a good thing. And second of all, it's a vitamin C serum infused makeup wipe. How's that going to work? So you're essentially taking your skincare, rubbing it all over your face to remove makeup. I don't know. I don't know. But that's interesting. Interesting product. Okay. Next, I see a Glam Glow product. We have Glam Glow's Berry Glow, and that's got to be a full-size jam right there. So this is a probiotic recovery mask. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, I can't tell what the derivatives are because the writing on this is extremely, extremely small. It just says mask repair. Um, I'm assuming that there's got to be some kind of fruit extracts in here, berry extracts or what have you. So we've already started out with two things of skincare in this um, wonderful month of BoxyCharm. Let's see what else we got going. All right. Oh, or, yep. Mm -hmm. Next is from Daily Concepts. This is a shampoo bar. Can you see what's going on here? A shampoo bar. This is plant-based and vegan. Um, I'm intrigued by this. Oh, okay. So it looks like this. This is something I think you would see in Lush. Definite like a lush product. And I'm assuming that you take it like this and then you just rub it in your hair. The problem with shampoo bars is that it's never very even. Like you can start using it and then it'll get like caught in your scalp or just caught in the shaft of your hair. I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, and boy, does it smell like lush. Yeah, it is very heavily fragranced. So I don't know if I'm going to be trying this. I know I'm not going to be trying it today. That's for sure. But I don't know. This is this is becoming a, um, uh, uh, so far, not trying too much. All right. Next in here is from, oh, Pretty Vulgar. Okay, that I can get behind. This looks like it's a, is this a lip? Uh-oh, I don't know what this is. This could be a lip jam. This could be a... Oh, no, it's a concealer. Okay, that'll work. Oh, wow, that is a very nice concealer. All right, so that's awesome. We've got something to conceal with. That's a good thing because I don't have any makeup on, as you can tell. So we've got this going on. Oh, and the last thing in here is from Studio Makeup. This is a Ease to Wear eyeshadow palette. Let's see, let's see. I don't even have to say it anymore. Do I have to say it? I mean, like, uh, do I have to say it anymore? I'm, I'm just going to leave my thoughts for the after when we're doing all of the trying on as far as uh, that is concerned. So that is it for BoxyCharm this month. Um, and again, I don't have a card in front of me to give you guys prices. I will try and find that information along along. The video as we go along it's called right. get that glow isn't every month get that glow okay so we've got a bunch of things in here that looks like we're going to be doing some glowing all right well let's see what ipsy has to offer first we have a product from murad this is the resurgence renewing eye cream firms and visibly reduces dark circles and wrinkles i feel like we get a murad 
product every other box and it always seems to have to do with the eyes i don't know why murad makes a million other things i don't know why we're sticking to eyes but hey okay i'm i'm all for it we'll do that um this card doesn't look like it has much uh information on it as far as like prices or anything of that nature so here we go again with the guessing game all right what do we have next Ooh. So this is a eyeshadow palette. It's called Mimosa Moment from Colored Rain. Oh, all right. That's an exciting thing. I don't think we've ever seen anything. Well, I've never seen anything from Colored Rain in um, these boxes. So I'm pretty excited about that. Of course, it's in double packaging. But this is what it looks like. It's a cute little handy dandy thing. Let's see what the palette itself looks like. Okay. So yet, yep. Another one, another neutral colored palettes, you know, standard everyday. Looks like the uh, Urban Decay Basics to me, reminds me of that, but okay. We will throw that in the try on pile and get to that later. All right, what do we have next? Ooh, here's a company I actually really do like. This is from Nomad. They were featured at Generation Beauty about two years ago and uh, last year, they had some things there as well, and I really, really like them. So they have an exclusive with Ipsy. Um, it looks like this is a Kiss of Sun palette. Okay, so we got a face palette to work with too. That is exciting. This is what it looks like. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. Those are gorgeous. Let's take this plastic off so you guys can get a better um, look at what's in there. That is just amazing. So we have um, a couple of different blush, not blush, bronzer options. And then of course we have this peachy kind of like highlight deal right there. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so that looks promising. That's also gonna be featured in the try on. I don't know why I'm doing that with my hands. All right, and of course the, the, sti the staple, staple, staple in every Ipsy. There is a Ipsy bag, and this is really cute. Okay, this is really, really cute. It's got a sunset kind of a motif, and then we have like a little tassel. That's really adorable. As long as you don't slap yourself in the face with it, you're great. All right, next in here from, oh, this is from Tarte, and this is their Sugar Rush uh, collection. This is called Sugar Coat. I'm assuming this is a mascara. Because what else could possibly be a sugar coat? Uh, yeah, I think. Nope, it's called Cupcake. And what are you? Oh, no, it's a it's a lip liquid lipstick. I should have known. <laughs> I should have known it was a liquid lipstick. I like the packaging on this. It's like a silicone type of a feel. Very nice. Very, you know, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like a thing. Like a thing that you just like to keep touching it. I'm going to move on. All right, so there we have that for try on. And then we have another, uh, oh boy. <laughs> okay, it's Wander Beauty. Um, are you a mascara? No, you must be a, either this has got to be with the brows or I guess it's just a clear, it doesn't give you any information. It just says Wander Beauty. I don't know if this is a lash product or if this is a eyebrow product it doesn't say there's no as you can tell there's no other writing on this so we're just going to play guessing games with this one all right so that's it for both boxes um it looks like we've got a couple of items to try so let's get to the try on thing. all right so we're back and we're on to the try on portion of the video so what i decided to do is i'm going to prep my face with this i am uh, dead sea vitamin c serum makeup remover wipe i'm going to actually use this as a so-called primer because it has vitamin c in it and i don't use makeup uh, remover wipes so i'm just going to do this as like a like a base i'm going to try not to touch my eyebrows because i uh already have product on them so there's a slight scent to them but nothing too nothing too powerful or nothing too strong it feels really nice on the skin. Like this is definitely nice for like a nice summer day. You know, if you're too hot and you just want to cool down, this is a great way to do that. Um, 
like I said, I don't suggest these as makeup remover wipes, makeup remover wipes are just, I don't know. I don't know. From It's just kind of like an unnecessary thing when you can use, um, you know, coconut oil, makeup removers, what have you. Yes, I'm using it all over my skin. I want to get the most benefit out of the vitamin C serum. So I'm going to be using it all over my skin. So I think we're good and prepped with that. And again, it it has, uh, I don't know, it has a slight, there's no citrus smell to this, but it does have a slight kind of a fragrance, which I'm going to assume maybe is the um, sea minerals in here. Maybe it's kelp or something of that nature, but it's incredibly soft. Like my face doesn't feel like dry like a normal makeup wipe would do after it takes off your product. That's why I said, I don't know if I would use that necessarily to uh, take off makeup because it's leaving behind a skin care product, which is beneficial to your face. So we're not going to go any further with that. All right. So the only thing that we have as far as like a coverage is this pretty vulgar. And I cannot tell you if this is even a concealer, I'm going to say that it is. Oh no, it's an eyeshadow primer. All right. We're going to put that to the side. Um, we're going to do this Murad. Uh, it, it's not going to show you anything on camera. I'm just doing it for the sake of just trying it. And that's what it looks like. It's pretty thick for a, uh, whoa, that is thick for an eye cream. So this is a definite one that you would not wear during the day. <laughs> oh, but that is really nice. And my under eyes could use it today. Wow. They are pretty dry. So, all right, we are that is really, really nice. And I don't, um, I don't try to rub it in. I try to just tap it in because it's a thicker base, but you can definitely feel how emollient, <laughs> that word emollient, and moist it is. So it's really nice. I mean, Murad always makes some really nice products. All right, so we're going to move on to the next venture. I'm going to go and put on some base makeup and then we'll be right okay, back. Okay, we are back with a face on. So I have something to actually hold the other portions of the makeup that we're trying today. So I just put on some foundation and a bit of concealer. And we are going to go in now with the Nomad palette the Sydney Bathers collection that is exclusively for Ipsy. I don't know who Sydney is. It's a Sydney, Australia and Sydney Ciders. I don't even know. I don't even pretend to know, but we're going to try out this wonderful, beautiful palette right here. So I have my little bronzer brush with me and I'm going to probably tap into the manly or mainly. Is that manly? That says manly, but it said mainly. All right, we're going to tap into that with my Sephora brush, and then I'm just going to lightly contour, because this is more a contour than it is a bronzer, but at this moment, I don't really care. And you can see we're in natural lighting today. We're not using the ring light, so everything should show up, hopefully. And that might have been too much to apply. Oh, we're going off to a great start here. Yeah, I haven't put on makeup in um, quite a bit. Um, it's not been too, uh, it's not been too um, beauty, you know, goings on around here lately. It's all kind of just, if I'm going out, then I'll throw on like a five minute face, but nothing to the extreme of throwing everything on my face. So this is the first time I'm applying bronzer, contour, what have you. Um, and so, yeah, that's basically uh, how it's been. Uh, how have you guys been during this wonderful quarantine? Have some of your states reopened? I know some of them are doing that as we speak. Um, we, of course, in New York are just going to be shut down until the end of time. I don't know. Um, I know some regions of New York are opening, but um, of course, who knows when they'll get around to the rest of us. Okay, so... It's a little bit dark. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's probably best if I wait until I have uh, at least somewhat of a tan for this particular color choice. But okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right. There are no real blush options um, in there. Uh, yeah, they're all just uh, basic bronzers. And then we have the highlighter. 
So um, I am just going to move on. We'll get back to, I guess, blush at some point. Okay, so we have two palettes. We have the Colored Rain, and we have the, where's the other palettes? We have the Colored Rain. Didn't we have two palettes? I guess we only have one. Okay, so we, I could have sworn we had two palettes. Yes, we do. We do. We do. We do. These two. So we have the Studio Makeup, which is a bunch of neutrals. <laughs> and then we have the Colored Rain, which is a bunch of neutrals. So you can decide. I think I'm just going to go and try both. Um, and since there is this pinky color right here called Dusk, I'm going to go in with that as my blush. That That's going to be the, uh, this is going to be the fun part of trying to get this on a brush, but we're going to go in with it and just use it as a blush today. Why not? Just, you know, work it in. Have it. So I could tell right away, <laughs> this is extremely powdery, but, um, you know, like I said, we don't have blush. We're just going to go with what we've got at the moment and... It's not a bad color. Really can't see much of it, but it's not a bad color. So there's that. Okay, all right. So we've got some blush laid down, blush, so to speak. All right, I'm more interested in going in with the colored rain. I don't know, I've never tried any colored rain shadows ever in my uh, time here. So I'm gonna go in with that, and I guess we're just gonna do a simple neutral eye because, hey, why not? That's what we've got going here. Um, so I'm gonna probably start off with uh, this little bad boy. No, no, this little bad boy right here and uh, see how these colors fare. So, yeah. And, oh, you know what I just remembered? Yeah, we have a eye primer. I'm not really, um, you know, too privy to eye primers. I don't really use them much, but maybe today might be, um, a good, a good idea to try, um, a eye primer because I have a feeling that these guys are going to be a little bit powdery. Ooh, that feels really nice and you don't need much of it. You don't really need, I, yeah, I'm just going to go over what I just did. I'm going to prime over just the, uh, shadow I just did. Who cares at this point? I don't think anyone's really going to uh, try and redo this. So, all right, now I'm going to go back in with this color. Maybe it'll show up a little bit better than it did before because I didn't see anything. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just, uh, yeah, maybe it's just there to just be there, the flesh color, as we say. All right. And as I'm trying to apply it over this pretty vulgar eye primer, it's a little difficult because the eye primer is extremely, extremely tacky. So I'm going to say and assume that you don't, whoa, you don't need a lot of it. That is really tacky. Um, just beware when you do try it that there's a, there's a lot of stick to it. So when you first put down a color, just beware you don't really need too much. And I went way too much into it. Okay, there's really not much more choices here um, to go into. I'm just going to go with the darker color, and then maybe I'll throw in some of the studio makeup colors, and we'll call it a day because, uh, yeah. Mm. So hopefully this isn't the real, um, the real uh, what do you call it, pigmentation of colored rain because, quite frankly, it ain't it. <laughs> it ain't it. It is definitely not it. Or it's this primer. I mean, once it's down, it's fine. It's just working it in. You could feel like the tugging on my eyes. or I can feel the tugging. You guys can't feel the tugging. But I definitely feel the tugging on my eyes. All right. We'll go back with this. But we're going to pull this back out, the studio makeup. And um, yes, we have so many choices. <laughs> So many choices, I guess. We'll just go in. I, mm -hmm. What is this color called? Bear. They're all bare in my eyes. They're all just bare. Oh, this is darker. Okay. So we're going for a smoky neutral. All right. Good to know. 
good to know when the color that's on your eye is not exactly the color that's in the palette. That's okay. Like I said, we're just doing a simple one today for the sake of trying it on. Yeah, nothing too amazing about these palettes. Um, we're going to go in with this flaxen color, which is a little bit of a shimmer. And I don't know. I don't know if that's going to do anything to this, but we're going to go in with it. We are just going to go in with it. I mean, there is no skipping, which is good. Usually with some of these um, lesser known shadows, there's some skipping, especially on my eyes, because my eyes don't really care for very uh, powdery shadows. And both of these are, but with this base, nothing's coming off. <laughs> Nothing is going to come off. All right, I'm going to go back in with Colored Rain. And I guess we'll just dive into this color right here and call it a day. I mean, it's, why not at this point? So that's a pretty gold. That's showing up really nicely right there. So you've got that at least to kind of throw your uh, your neutrals into a little bit more uh, high, high ex acceleration. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but... I don't know why it's taking me three different times to apply it to this eye, but there we are. All right, so I'm going to go in and just kind of go underneath with the darker color on this as a liner. And... It's not really, <laughs> not really showing up. Oh boy, I don't know about these palettes, Ipsy. I don't know. And boxy charm, can't say. I, uh... Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, that's a color that's showing up. There's a color that's showing up. Okay. All right, so that's the eyes. I mean, nothing too amazing at this point. All right, let's move on. Um, I really don't know what this is. I really do not know what this is. I, uh, it could be anything. And it's, it's amazing that, you know, there is no card to explain anything. So I'm going to go and just prime my lashes with this. Watch this be a, eye, and who cares, even if it is an eyebrow gel. Um, I'm priming my lashes with this. I'm going to throw on some of my own mascara for this look. And, you know, we'll even run it through. Why not? I think I, I think it's probably for the, the brows themselves. But we'll do that. I'm going to apply my own mascara and then we're going to go okay, on. We are work. back and we only have one last product to try. So this is the Sugar Coat from Tarte, the Sugar Rush line. And we have the color in Cupcake, which I do like the packaging on this. So another liquid lipstick and it does smell, but it doesn't smell of a, mm, no, not really. It doesn't smell of a cupcake, but all right, gonna go in with this to finalize this look. And uh, I'll tell you what I think. Oh, I like that, actually. Okay, it has a smoothness to it. It's, it's a definite liquid lipstick, but it has a smoothness to it. And it doesn't um, dry down to like feeling that prunish way that normal liquid lipsticks feel like. There is a bit of like a gloss feeling to it, actually. So that's very, very strange. Okay. All right. So this is it. This is it for everything um, as far as what I could try on. So let's go over um, both boxes. Um... First off, the Murad. This is, uh, it's really nice. If you like eye creams and um, you are a fan of Murad, Murad does a really great job as far as like their skincare. Are they expensive? Absolutely. I'm pretty sure that when I show you this on screen, this is probably, I'm going to assume this is in the $75 range because Murad is no joke when it comes down to uh, skincare. So, and I really did like this. Um, 
it feels really emollient and you could tell like once you just put like a little bit that it goes a long way so you don't really need a lot of this so that does um you know it, it makes sense for the price that it ends up being so i really did like this um this i think if you use it as a pre-base to makeup I think it's better than using it as a makeup remover. There's not much of a fragrance to it, which is good. I like the fact that it has vitamin C serum infused in here and that there is Dead Sea Minerals. So I think it's more of a skincare than it is a uh, makeup remover. I wouldn't um, advise using it for that. At least I'm not going to use it for that, but I do like it. Uh, the Glam Glow. <laughs> <laughs> I mm, I mm, I have had so many masks by Glam Glow in my time and I'm just, you know, it smells oh my. It smells like grape lip smackers. If you remember grape lip smackers, that's what this smells like. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a decent uh, mask. Uh, what it means by the probiotic recovery, I have no idea, but I guess we'll try that out and we'll see how that works out. Uh, same for this, the um, the Daily Concepts shampoo bar. From the scent of it, I don't think I will be trying it out. It's very, very heavily fragranced. I might be um, just giving this to my daughter. She's a big Lush fan, so this is something in, up in her wheelhouse. Um, the Nomad. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't apply the highlighter. Oh, what is wrong with me? Why don't we just do that now? So the highlighter is called Balmoral Beach, and I didn't apply any of it. That's not good. And right away, okay, yeah, all right. There's a little bit of a, of a essence to it, a little glow. Oh, wow. All right, there we go. Now we can see it. I couldn't see it on the other side, but whoa, that is a very blingy looking highlight. A little bit brash for my liking because I'm not one to really wear something this like intense but it's not bad I guess as far as like a high highlights go um you know I'm I'm okay with this for um so far because this one is de decent but I do think I need to be a bit darker to uh really enjoy it but I'm gonna be trying these other two and we'll see how that works out I mean so far it was decent but I haven't really uh given it too much of a shot to really let you know I feel like I have to blend this in. <laughs> I feel like it's just like like our space type of a highlight Okay, so the one I'm not really that all impressed with is Colored Rain. Um, to me, this is your typical, you know, boring, everyday, throw it in your bag palette. It reminds me of the Naked Basics. Uh, the, the use of this palette, um, yeah, it didn't impress me at all. That color is decent, but if you can tell, it just like kind of just goes away. Um, the only color I really liked in here was uh, this one that's uh, on my lid. But as far as like formula is concerned and all of that, mm, no, not really. And the studio makeup, well, a little bit better, a little bit better as far as like choices and as far as like laying colors down, but very simple, very everyday, very mundane, very kind of just there. So nothing too special about either of these palettes for either of the boxes. Oh, the pretty vulgar, this stuff, this is amazing if you really like to use primer for your eye, uh, your eyeshadows because this, once you put this on, no eyeshadows leaving it. I think that's the reason why the both palettes um, kind of worked a little bit better than they normally would have because the, um, the pigmentation on both of them is not there. But um, laying this down, it definitely kept them on. Um, I do like this. It's really good. I want to see how this works with some of my other eyeshadows. So I'm going to keep trying that. The Wander Beauty. I don't know what this is, but I think it's an eyebrow gel. And to be honest with you, I just put a little bit on my eyebrows and they feel like Crunch City. So, nope. And then the last thing um, is the uh, Sugar Coat by uh, Sugar Rush for Tarte, which I do like it. It feels really comfortable. I like the color. Um, I like the packaging. Um, so yeah, 
everything is pretty decent. Um, it's kind of weighing on both. I mean, they're both decent for what they did this month. I'm leaning over a little bit towards Ipsy, although I'm not too impressed with either one really. So they're kind of like, eh, at a, at a three out of five this month. So that is it for both subscription services and for, um, everything tried on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.